If you have a history of ectopic pregnancy also, your tubes can be severely damaged. Sometimes the tube may need to be removed entirely. Then we have congenital abnormalities which are very rare and some women may be born with malformed or absent tubes and these can cause tubal blockages. How does it affect infertility? The answer is very simple. They block the path. Sperms travel from the vagina through the cervix and uterus into the fallopian tube. The egg is released from the ovary and picked up by finger like fimbria at the end of the tube. Fertilization happens in the tube and if the tube is blocked, fertilization can't occur. Or if it does occur, the embryo can't reach the uterus which may lead to ectopic pregnancy which is a life-threatening condition. There are several methods to diagnose a blocked tube. Histrosalpingogram is one where an x-ray test is performed, dye is injected into the uterus to check if it flows through the tubes. It's a very simple outpatient and usually done between day 6 to day 11 of the cycle and uh, can give us very good uh, information about the tubal blockage.